you know, I'm not, I don't, I'm not very healthy. And, and he was like, um, Joe was like, how do you stay so fit? And I was like, well, I guess I just have good genes. Which is like exactly what Hitler thought. <laughs> like, 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 like the superior genes. That's good. That's good. So every time I drive home from here to the cities, I stop at Taco Bell. Every time. And I have figured out every single Taco Bell in between here and the Twin Cities on 94. And I bend all of them, and I know their strengths and their weaknesses. <laughs> which tacos they can make well, which ones they make poorly, and which ones are well, good service, and which ones people are kind of jerks. Um, St. Cloud is pretty good. And um, there's one in Rogers, and one in, um, what's the other place? Um, like, Mon Mon Somewhere over um, I know the exit. Um, but there's a time that I went with my friend David. <laughs> and uh, it took us 45 minutes to get three tacos. So don't go to the one in Rogers. Roger. I, have a, uh, I have a neighbor named Roger who, um, there's my house and then he's straight to the right of my house. Right, I guess, from your angle. And um, he, he's probably like 80 or something, and every once in a while I'll go outside um, late at night, or I'll be like coming home from like being out, and it'll be maybe like 1 or 2 in the morning, and he's burning a 10 foot tall bonfire of just God knows what. And like, it is huge, and it's kind of like getting at the trees up above it a little bit, and then he just kind of looks over and he's just like, hey. And I'm like supposed to act like this is a very like normal occurrence when he does this, and then he also has like, three dogs that he'll let just like wander through our yard and like poop everywhere. Um, so we're kind of waiting for Roger to leave, but we don't know if it's ever going to happen. <laughs> Park Rose. Shed. Hurting myself. Uh, hitting my head. Stop doing theater for a while. Just keep doing it. Casual racism. Fast food. Roger. <laughs> Marcus is going to come over here and put a baseball bat in my hand. And then I have to play the game. Fine, I'm sorry. Just, I don't feel all right with this. You're a half bird. Yeah, but I'm not. I don't know all the birds. I don't know if they're all going to be okay with it. All half birds are okay with having feathers. Fine, fine, fine. I'll keep the feather on my head. Good. I don't know what feel it.
want your kite, you don't give me the kite. So what do I do with it then? You keep it. It's your kite. Okay, hey, Dad, you said you wanted all of the allowance that you gave me back, so here you go. <laughs> Riley, come here. Jimmy, ask your sister for her kite. Hey, sis, can I have your kite? Then take her kite. Okay. Don't do that! Hi, hi! You want the kite? Yeah. yeah, here you go, Dad. Thank you. The kite. Hey, we're going Dutch. You can't have it. <laughs> Can I have the kite? Yeah. Okay. You are clearly picking favorites right now, Dad. Yeah, I have your brother's allowance. Are you mad at me? Am I? <laughs> Good. You took it. Isn't this fun? <laughs> I love it. God, am I hungry? Kind of what I was implying, yeah. <laughs> so I should just stop cooking. I got all hostile. Uh, has this ever happened to you? You're trying to convey to your wife that you don't like her dishes. Seriously, you suck. <laughs> and all she can do is make you feel bad. Oh, God, I feel so sick. <laughs> This ad is terrible. This is really bad ad. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> You're trying to make the television like your husband. All your husband can do is make you feel bad. It just sucks. It's, it's awful. I thought it was going great. Oh, well, how's your meal? Then you need my help. Honey, this is getting too mad. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Has this, this ever happened, happened to you? <laughs> You're trying to make a meta ad of some kind. <laughs> significant other comes in and just makes you feel terrible. Try to make a meta ad of some kind! It's hurting your brain. Sucks! <laughs> Do people understand? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> but your significant other doesn't think so. Honey, I just don't think the audience understands this. I agree! <laughs> this sucks! It's getting out of control. <laughs> Introduce me to my grandson. Um, 
Uh, Tweety, Tweety, <laughs> this, is, this is your grandpa Paul. Say hello. Paul. Sir. You can call me sir. Say hello, Paul, sir. Hello, Paul, sir. <laughs> sir Paul. Hello, sir. <laughs> Paul. It's oh, two Paul. words. Paul. Paul, is this Tweety? I know his name, Sir Paul. You see that Paul, Sir Paul? You see that ball all the way down there, Sir Paul? Yeah, he threw it, what, two feet? <laughs> yeah, but with those little wings, that's really impressive. Sir yeah, Paul. for a fucking bird. <laughs> Dad, come on. He's doing his best. I want to pitch the circle. <laughs> I want to pitch the circle. <laughs> Mabel, give me my bat. Are you excited to meet your grandson? Yeah. I'm gonna make him fail. <laughs> Oh, come on. We could cook faster than that.
My God, folks, this is a treat for you. We separated to create the biggest hot dog you've ever seen. Bigger than any other hot dog. <laughs> it's beautiful. Unfortunately for these two, we must leave the territory and never come back again. But we have our new kings and our giant food. All is well. Well, that was an interesting first date. Yeah. <laughs> All those documentaries you, you always talked about. Mm-hmm. You know, I usually watch um, nature documentaries, not documentaries about the Dutch. <laughs> Strange things similar to that of the musical group Stomp. <laughs> I thought it was riveting. <laughs> what are you doing next weekend? Um, nothing I don't think. Me neither. I think that's a bad day. <clears throat> um, so I'm just supposed to stand here. Yeah, you just need to watch us think. Okay. Um, at each other. All right. I, I I love watching people think, so this should be good. This should be good for all three of us. The Craigslist ad said. Oh man. So you better really love it. I'm getting my money though, right? As well. Yeah. Four hundred big ones. Good. You spending four hundred dollars on it? I love. I, I'm like that. <laughs> no, man. He's saying he loves you, but in his mind, he's saying it as well. So, if that helps at all, both mind and mouth are working as one. Four hundred dollars isn't that much money. <laughs> this guy can read minds, and your mind is worth more than four hundred dollars. In his head, he said that uh, your mind was actually worth five hundred dollars. <laughs> so I will also accept five hundred dollars if you want. I'm very impressed with this date, and I was less impressed with the other one, but this one. I, I feel like this could turn into something very nice. What's he thinking? Since in some hesitancy here. Okay. What, uh, you, what did she? What did she think? She was like vaguely impressed. Oh. And then, and then would be more impressed if you gave me six hundred dollars. Who? Oh. Who is this? The guy we hired for. He gets to watch you think. <laughs> I'm he's sorry. A, he's a professional. <laughs> We found him on Craigslist! I've been watching you think for years now. How much did I pay you? I don't get paid. I love what I do. I love, I love what I do. You can't, like, say what we're thinking. You just, you just, you just look at <laughs> You can't analyze what's going on. Therese, you just essentially follow me everywhere I go. Therese following <laughs> her everywhere she goes. Yeah. Can I join in on it? 
intellectual. Get out! <laughs> Why do you have to have some cupcakes? Just leave them! Okay. Can you bring a cupcake over here? Oh, Claire, why don't you tell us? I'm not even beautiful. 
Uh, maybe <laughs> if you weren't so busy uh, spit shining at the floor, uh, you could actually listen to me for once. <laughs>
Beautiful. And exactly an hour and a half long. Yes. I tried it. Convenient. So, give us oh, yeah. the, the Hunger Games. <laughs> okay, um, the Hunger Games, uh, every, it was world poverty, but everyone's really attractive. Oh. Um, and, uh, there's this... It's almost like I'm seeing it. It's like this girl, uh, and she, she, she wants to, like, bang two guys at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that a metaphor? Or? Yeah, no, okay. it's, like, it's a metaphor for, um... Uh, poverty. Uh, <laughs> she's hungry. Okay. Hungry. Hungry for um. Uh, economy. Ooh, economy. <laughs> oh. No. So then this girl, um, this girl, uh, after she's done con contemplating being the two guys, um, then she gets sent to. Uh, oh man, the people are really hungry. Joffrey, you didn't cover any of this. <laughs> what are you? I, I yeah. think very good, phenomenal, fantastic, best book you've ever written, but I don't think we film. Wait, uh, hold on. That's on the back of the DVD. Oh, Joffrey! <laughs> I, 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 I wrote it on the back of the DVD. Yes. Mm. Holy shit. <laughs> you wrote it on the back of the DVD? Yes, it does. It says Joffrey. Okay, yes, so I wrote that. if you saw the... No, we're at the book. Yes. What had happened to the girl after she banged those two guys? <laughs> there was a showdown between the two guys over the girl. They fought with lances. What was that a metaphor for? It was a metaphor for uh, the patriarchy as a whole. Um, oh. But in their squabbles, they themselves fell in love. Um, <laughs> forgetting all about how hungry they were. Oh. We're getting to eat for weeks on end. Oh. It was tragic when we died each other's arms. Beautiful. Yes, I thought it was very good, fantastic, but I'm the best one you've ever been. Well, yeah, I really sorry about that movie. I did not look at the radio. Uh, 
time, yeah. Right. I know for sure. Every time. 100% success rate. I don't know, I don't think we have a major for It is that. super gay. <laughs> a little bit of a lesbian. Hey, I'm great day. Very, very straight. Yeah. What's up? Ooh, I'm getting like 80, 20 straight gay. That's so, accurate, actually. Am I homosexual? I need to know. Well, let me ask you something. How often do you think about big, throbbing, Cops. Has this ever happened to trying to help you move in. I moved in six years ago. Yeah! Then why is everything still in boxes? Maybe I like it in boxes. Nice wooden boxes that don't look like they've been moved in recently. Because they are dressers! Because it's where I keep my things! Boxing artists, people, you've seen it yet, but <laughs> keep watching. A dresser? What, is that like just a big old wooden box? Yeah. Oh yeah? Well then what's this right here? A wardrobe. What? Very typical answer for a box water. <laughs> okay. A wardrobe. Yes. Oh, it looks to me like a big old box. <laughs> Next thing you're gonna tell us is that our bedroom is just a box. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or that our house is just a big box. What is a house? Just because we live in a house of boxes. Just because you live in a tax. You live in a big box? We live in a lot of boxes, for the record. Isn't basically everything like a box, though? This came out of another box! <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people that live in here! How many people live in this box? My whole family! Which is... Okay, you should know that. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. you guys are like rolling around in the boxes. How long the topping box you ordered? Oh, thank God. I'm waiting for you. I'm gonna put you by the other boxes. Fantastic. Can I talk to them? Yes. Okay. Oh. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you're right. Ah! Why are they in a talking box? Stop there! Wait. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything. I, well. 
Can we actually invite Patrick to help us out? Patrick. Do you want to help us out? Uh, yeah, Patrick. Yes. What are you looking at? Nothing. Take a pin then. Oh, because I don't already have one. <laughs> that looks okay. <really> suspicious. <laughs> I'll join in your fight, son. As long as you're safe and not yelling. Paul's great. I love him. Sir, call me sir. <laughs> yes, sir. There's a line of pillows between this room, and the, per the first person to cross the line of pillows is the one that we go after first, so it's your move. Wow. What are they talking about over there? Some kind of strategy? I don't know. Maybe we should talk about some strategy. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Let's go. Honey, do you need anything to drink? Mom! <laughs> I'm going to drink all my enemies! We're fighting! <laughs> hey, be safe! Yell for mom. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Mrs. Trevor! Mrs. Trevor! We need one more. Come here. I heard someone call my name. Yeah, you want, uh, Trevor, why don't you play with us? Really quick. Mother, make your decisions wisely. You <laughs> <laughs> have a choice before you. Us? Or them? Mrs. Trevor, my mom will make you bunk cake. Hold on! <laughs> What's your friend doing, son? I don't know. I don't like this. Is he going to yell at us? 